Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this uh, beautiful speciality from Zanzibar called Samaki Wakupaka, means fish grilled and coated in coconut sauce. So <clears throat> I'm going to start with a marinade for the fish. So I'm using uh, turmeric powder, chili powder. You can use fresh green chilies if you want or red chilies if you want it more spicy. And then uh, a little oil. This is just a vegetable oil and uh, some salt. And also I've got uh, fresh ginger and garlic paste. And I'm also going to be, you could use any lemon or lime, whatever you prefer. And uh, there's no specific amount. It just depends how strong you want it. Okay, this fish is basically cooked. It's actually cooked on a direct heat. It's a, it's, it's a barbecue fish. Okay, but I'm going to... <clears throat> I'll cook it in the oven today, so I'm just going to grill it. I'm not doing it in outside direct heat. Okay, and uh, and we usually do a whole fish for this fish. I know some of you might not like to use the head, so if you don't want to do that, it's okay. And you want to use a white fish, I mean a fish that has white meat. So uh, right now I'm using this fish called drum fish, but uh, sometimes I use tilapia or I use... Uh, Red fish. It's called red fish, but it's uh, it has a white meat. I get it usually from the Indian stores. Okay, so you want to coat all your spices to marinate the fish. You know every corner of your fish, and then uh, <clears throat> cover it, and just keep it in the fridge for about twenty to twenty five minutes. Okay, and you want to make sure that you cover it properly, so that uh, the rest of your food in the fridge does not have any fish smell. Okay. And like I said, this is one of the speciality from Zanzibar because, you know, we have a lot of coconuts over there. So, um, of course, this fish has a coconut sauce that's very, very nice and tasty. Okay, now for the sauce, I'm going to be using two types of coconut milk here. I'm using canned. You can use uh, fresh if you have. So I've got, I'm going to be using light and thick coconut milk. And uh, fresh tomatoes. I've got onions. I've got uh, tomato paste. Uh, I've got my green chili that's I've de-seeded it because I don't want my sauce to be spicy. So I'm putting everything on the blender here. Just chopped it and blend it. And uh, tomato paste and I've got uh, turmeric powder and I'm adding my uh, coconut milk, the light one. And you just want to blend it. Now if you don't have a blender you can fry. I mean chop your items basically mince them and then you can fry them and then add the coconut milk the light part the light coconut milk then let it cook then you'll follow the same steps okay so i'm going to bring this to a boil and once it comes to a boil i'm going to let it simmer okay so i've just rinsed my blender to get uh, you know to get extra liquid and i also forgot some ginger and garlic this is fresh the same one that I used for the marinade okay and if you don't want to do coconut milk so much you can do the first part with water blend your items with water and then cook it now you want to make sure all the onions are well cooked because when you blend the onions in this way they take a long time to cook you can literally smell the raw onions around in the kitchen Okay, so you want it to come to a thick paste to completely cook. And the coconut has released some fat. And uh, that fat is now kind of frying my, um, my paste. Okay, so but if you have used water, you may need to add a little oil to fry the, the paste to make sure that everything is completely cooked. Okay, and um, yeah, there is, uh, I mean... Um, after this, you're going to add your thick coconut milk, the second portion of that, of your milk. And uh, just uh, let it simmer and cook. In the meantime, I'm going to start grilling my fish. And uh, I'm using a deep uh, tray. You can use a cookie tray and make sure you cover it. And then you want to wipe uh, the the rack the wire rack with oil because you don't want the fish to get stuck when you're grilling it okay 
So that's what I like to do. And uh, I like to do it outside too, but sometimes I prefer to do it inside. Like today it's very cold, it's raining. So I'm going to grill my fish inside. And this is no mess. It's not messy at all. Okay. So I've got my oven on broil. I'm only using the upper heat and it's on high. And then I'm putting my fish on the lower rack because I want it to cook properly. I don't want it to burn. I want it to cook through. Okay. So now my sauce is almost done. You want to do a taste, taste, and um, add whatever you think you may need, okay? So right now I need a little salt, and then make sure that you put your, le whatever acidity you use, if it's lemon or lime or vinegar, whatever, you're going to add this only once your sauce has cooked completely, because if it hasn't cooked well, it's going to split, okay? So make sure that is. Uh, it's done that way okay so now my sauce is thick and I'm ready my fish is cooked one side you see now it has it's not stuck on the rack at all so I'm going to cook it on the other side grill it on the other side rather so that's done and I'm pouring the sauce I mean coating the base of my serving dish if you want you can just coat your sauce on the top like how you did the grilling you can do it that way but I want some sauce now I had to remove the head because uh, the fish was too big for my serving dish so I had to remove the head and then now you want to coat all the um, all the sauce into your fish you know everywhere inside outside this is this smells so great here and uh, this fish is uh, goes very well with the bread that I just did recently. That's called mkate or futa, the sesame bread. Or you can have it with uh, chapati. You can have it with rice. Uh, there are so many dishes that go very well with this fish. Okay. And then after this, I'm going to put it in the grill again. But this time, I'm going to put it on the top. Because I want my, um, my sauce to get that uh, burnt... Uh, you know the charcoal taste whatever you call it so well that's it and thank you for watching for more details on this recipe please visit me at aroma of zanzibar